Another way to shake off the anaesthetic of familiarity, another way to experience something a little bit like going to another planet, is to go on another kind of journey backwards in time on our own planet. One of the most difficult things to grasp about fossils, like this trilobite here, is how old they are. You can have no conception how old that animal is. In case that sounds patronizing, let me rephrase it. I can have no conception how old it is. I can tell you in words how old it is. It's about 500 million years old, perhaps a bit more. But to tell you in words, and really to understand what that means, is another matter. Our brains have evolved to comprehend the timescales of our own lifetimes. We can understand seconds, minutes, days, weeks, years, even centuries we can understand. When we come to millennia, thousands of years, our spines start to tingle. Epic myths like Homer's Odyssey, tales of the Greek gods, Zeus and Apollo and the others, the Jewish heroes, Moses and Joshua and their god Yahweh, the ancient Egyptians and the sun god Ra, these all give us an eerie feeling of immense age. We feel that we're peering back into the mists of antiquity. Yet on the time scale of this fossil, those mists of antiquity don't even count as yesterday. This is a cuneiform tablet from Mesopotamia, somewhere around the seventh century BC. It's, let me see, my cuneiform's a bit rusty. Yes, it's a legal document on the sale of some land near Nineveh. Yes, that's right. Uh, this here is another thing that gives one the same feeling. This is a Bronze Age warrior's mask that was dug up in the last century by a, a famous 19th century archaeologist, Schliemann. And he said, I have gazed upon the face of Agamemnon. Now, this, as a matter of fact, it wasn't the face of Agamemnon, but he thought it was. And to him, that was his way of being awed, being awed at the immense age of it. He was feeling himself going back through those mists of antiquity. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to be notified about new videos. You can follow us on social media, and if you really love what we do, consider supporting us with a donation. Links to all that good stuff is in the description below.